Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hi everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome to week 7 of the Great Canadian Landscapes Cal. This week we are going to crochet our way across Manitoba. Manitoba is the centermost province of Canada and it has a very varied landscape. Uh, which I've tried to capture in this panel today. You can see this panel has these great textured popcorn stitches here, these rows of them, and they're kind of interspersed between a very subtly textured, uh, more flat background. So these are the stitches that we are going to work today in this panel. It, it includes popcorn stitches and half double crochet stitches. The popcorn stitches I will demonstrate for you. So for this tutorial, you are going to need a little bit of worsted weight yarn along with your crochet hook. For a complete list of materials for this crochet along, you can find it for free on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. I will also provide some links for you here in the notes uh, of this video. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, which I like to update weekly, not only with this crochet along, but also with other free patterns, crochet patterns, and stitch tutorials. So for our panel today, what we're going to begin by doing is making our slip knot. This panel, like all the others, will be worked in rows. And if you are working the panel according to the pattern, you are going to begin by chaining 146 stitches. For the purposes of the tutorial today, I will only be giving you a small swatch. So I'm going to change the size of my square. And you may choose to do so as well for your particular blanket. If you would like to change the size of your starting chain, the multiple you are going to need is 8 plus 2. So today I'm going to start by chaining 18. Once you have finished making your chain, either the desired length or the 146 chains as according to the pattern, you are simply going to start your first row by single crocheting in the second chain. So there's my first chain in my second chain from the hook. And in each chain all the way across. At the end, you will have a total of 100 and 45 single crochet stitches. After you have single crocheted in each of the chains all the way across, you are going to chain one and turn. The chain one in this pattern does not count as a stitch. For row two, you're going to begin by making a half double crochet in the first stitch and a half double crochet stitch in each of the next two. So that's three half double crochet stitches all together. You will then chain one, skip the next stitch, and then work one popcorn in the next. To make your popcorn, you are going to work three half double crochet stitches in the stitch that is indicated. There's one, there's two, and three. Once you have your three half double crochet stitches worked in that one stitch, you're going to remove your hook from your loop. You're going to insert your hook from the front to the back of the first half double crochet stitch in that set. You're then going to take your hook, you're going to insert it through the loop that you dropped. You're going to pick up that loop and you're going to pull it back through to the front of that first half double crochet. 
and pull it kind of tight so that your half double crochet cluster kind of puffs up. That is your popcorn stitch. Next you're going to chain one, you're going to skip the next stitch, and you're going to half double crochet in each of the next five stitches. So one, two, three, four, and five. Now you're going to repeat, you're going to chain one, skip one, work a popcorn in the next stitch, that's three half double crochets in the next stitch, then remove your hook from your loop, insert your hook from front to the back of that first half double crochet in the set. Pick up the loop that you dropped and pull it through. Your popcorn is made. You will then chain one, skip the next stitch, and half double crochet in each stitch, each of the next five stitches. Or once you hit the end of your row, you will half double crochet in the last three stitches. And then you can see your popcorn stitches are there and they should be puffing out nicely. For row three, you're going to chain one and you're going to turn. Now, once again, you're going to half double crochet in the first stitch and in each of the next two stitches. When you come to that chain one space, you are going to work one popcorn stitch. So you're going to work three half double crochet stitches in that chain one space. Now you're going to remove your hook. Now where in the first row we inserted our hook from the front to the back to gather our popcorn stitches. When we're working in the opposite direction, we're going to insert our hook from the back to the front. And then we're going to pick up that loop that we dropped and pull the loop through. That is because we want all of our popcorn stitches to be on the same side of our work. Okay. Then you're going to chain one, skip the next popcorn stitch, and work one popcorn in the next chain one space. So we're going to do the same as what we just did there. We're going to work three half double crochet stitches. And because we want all of our popcorns facing the same way, we're going to remove our hook from the loop. We're going to insert our hook from back to front through that first half double crochet stitch. We're going to pick up the loop that we dropped and we're going to pull it through to the back and just pull it tight. Now your popcorn should all be on the same side. Next you will half double crochet in each of the next five stitches. Four and five. And now you're going to repeat. In the next chain one space, you're going to work one popcorn stitch. I'm going to remove your hook from the front to the back, insert it in the first half double crochet, pick up your loop, and draw it through. You're going to chain one, skip the next popcorn stitch, and work a popcorn in the next chain one space. You will then half double crochet in each of the next five stitches. Once you come to the end of your row, you will complete that popcorn stitch and then you will half double crochet in the final three stitches. And that is the end of row three. 
For row four, what you're going to do is you're going to chain one and turn. And now you can see your popcorn stitches are all kind of there on the same side and they're forming their little trail. You're going to start row four by half double crocheting in the first stitch and in each of the next two stitches. Chain one. And working in that next chain one space in between the two popcorn stitches down below, you're going to work a popcorn stitch. Three half double crochets. Remove your hook, insert it from front to back on this side, and drop a loop. Chain one, skip the next popcorn stitch, and half double crochet in each of the next five stitches. Chain one, skip the next popcorn stitch, work one popcorn in the next chain one space, chain one, skip the next popcorn stitch, and then half double crochet in the next five stitches, or if you have reached the end of your row, half double crochet in the final three stitches. And that is the end of row four. Now for the remainder of this pattern, you want, if you're following along as printed, you are going to want your uh, panel to be about nine inches wide. So you're going to continue to repeat row three and four until your work from the beginning measures approximately nine inches or a little less. Once your panel has reached the desired size, go ahead and work your single crochet edging all the way around the panel the instructions for which can be found, again, for free on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. Thank you so much for joining me for this video tutorial for week seven of the Great Canadian Landscapes Crochet Along. I hope you are enjoying it as much as I am, and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Happy crocheting! Bye!